If you use Ableton Live for your band, a product was just released that is an absolute game changer. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you'll save 10 bucks off of it. Let's go. What's up everybody, my name is Adam, welcome to the channel. My goal is to help you make good money playing music. If that sounds like something you'd be into, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. So about a year ago, I made a video about setting up karaoke version backing tracks in Ableton Live. I even set up a template so that you could download it for yourself and make it as easy as possible. In that video, I also mentioned a product called Ableset that we were using to control Ableton playback remotely. It's been a rock solid solution for us and we've really enjoyed how it makes controlling our playback so easy. Well, this past week, they released an update to Ableton set that I am really excited to tell you about. Ableset 2 has six really big updates. Now three of those are probably something that my band isn't going to use and I'll explain why later. The other three features are a huge win for my band and I've been up to my eyeballs in Ableton Live trying to get it implemented for our next show. Before we go any further I just want to note this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this update with my own money and my opinions are mine alone. I just really like sharing cool stuff with other musicians that I think would benefit from it. As a refresher Ableset is a plugin for Ableton Live that uses markers and MIDI information to help organize and control Ableton Live from any device that has a web browser. The first new feature I want to talk about is that Ableset can now show the status of the iConnectivity Play Audio 12 interface. If you're not familiar, the Play Audio 12 is a multi-channel interface that is designed for multi-output Ableton Live playback. I covered that setup in this video somewhere over here. You should go check that out if you're not familiar. But now you can see which computer is running your show from within the Ableset interface instead of using the Oracle software from iConnectivity. That's one less open window on your playback machine that you need to worry about. The next two features are really big ones for me. Ableset 2 gives you the ability to add scrolling lyrics and chords for all of your songs, and you can customize the layout of the interface for every player on stage. Okay, let's cover lyrics first. Before this, if I was a little shaky on lyrics to a new song or chords, I needed to use a totally separate program like Band Helper or On Song. And when we did live band karaoke, it required a separate program like ProPresenter and a dedicated person to operate it. This new feature allows us to ditch all of that extra software and hardware and frees up resources and headcount for all of our future gigs. Basically, the program is using a MIDI track labeled lyrics to display the words. Leo, the guy who developed Ableset, created this really handy tool on their website in order to generate these lyric files. First, you source your lyrics and copy them into the main text field. Then the lyric tool is going to break those up into eight count segments. You can either download the lyrics untimed or you can attach a reference track like an MP3 bounce of your playback and sync the lyrics to to trigger in time with your audio. You do this by playing the song and using the spacebar to advance to the next lyric line. Both of these options download from the website as a separate ALS file. To get the lyrics into your master session, copy the contents of the lyric session file and paste them into the MIDI track in your master file. Now I found that even with the synced files, I still had to go into the session and move things around. So instead of automating all of the lyrics in real time, I figured it would be easier to just download them untimed and move them around myself. Once complete, you can see that the lines advance as the track progresses. It'll even show count ins when there's big gaps between lyric lines. The same process works for chords as well, but you'll need to enter that data in the standard Chord Pro format. You'll also need a separate MIDI track for chords and lyrics in Ableton Live. If you wanted to, you could create separate MIDI tracks for every person on stage, one for background vocals, stage cues, I mean, whatever floats your boat. You can also use color codes to make certain lines different colors. I did this on a couple of songs where me and our other vocalists trade lines back and forth so we don't end up singing over each other. Once all of that's done, you can then go into the Ableset interface and customize your stage view. Ableset now has three distinct views, performance, playback, and lyrics. As you can see here, you can choose to only see the lyrics or you can select from any of the MIDI tracks that we set up, background vocals, chords, etc. Or you can go into performance view and totally customize that layout with different components. If you're the music director, you can set it to show time code, play controls, next section, play audio 12 status. Your singer can remove all of that stuff and just add the lyrics and whatever song's coming up next. Your guitar player can switch to chord view if he's worried about remembering the bridge to The Power of Love by Huey Lewis in the News. You can also lock a view to turn off all playback controls. I'm not going to mince words. If you're a cover band with a massive song list, this is going to be a very time consuming process. But once it's done, I think it could be an incredible resource to everybody on stage. As far as the other new features, these may be huge wins for your band, but my band is not going to probably utilize them. If your band's accustomed to looping certain sections for extended solo breaks or improvisation, you can now set up a separate loop only guide track that is triggered whenever a section is looped. This feature disables the normal guide track, which which would be telling you the next section you're going to until the loop command is removed. There's also new jump modes, which allow you to set these loop sections 
and or trigger playback more smoothly. You can now set playback to jump at the end of the current section or the end of the current song. This could help tighten up your live show as whoever is controlling playback may not have to be so diligent in triggering things as they come up. This last feature I hope is something that improves over time because I think it could be a big deal for bands like mine but not in its current form. Ableset now allows you to run your show from multiple ALS files. So if you're concerned about your computer being able to handle like a hundred song master session, you can now break them up into smaller bits. At the moment, there are two big downsides to multi-file support. If you're a band who likes to run a really quick show with no downtime, this probably is not something you're going to be able to use for now. That being said, we may end up doing this for live band karaoke as you don't have to worry about the load time and it would make jumping around to different songs way easier. The other downside is that as far as the Ableset interface goes, each of these individual files have to be for individual songs. Songs. Meaning you can't break your show file up into quarters and still retain all the flexibility in the interface like you would with one big master session. Hopefully this feature is added at some point and when it is, we will absolutely use it. So there you go. Those are all the new bells and whistles in Ableset 2. It's available now and existing Ableset customers will either get it as a free upgrade or at a discounted rate depending on when they purchase the original license. The new customers can get it for $149, but if you use the link in the description, you can get it for $10 off. So definitely check that out. Big thanks to Leo over at Ableset for for providing the discount code. I think a lot of you guys would really benefit from this. That's gonna do it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every single Friday. Also consider supporting us on Patreon. If you join at the $5 tier, you get access to the exclusive Patreon Slack channel, which is full of people just like you looking to make great money playing music. Have an awesome week and I'll see you next time.